Hello and welcome back. I am Conan Librarian with Conan's EDC, Easy Dad Carry, and today we're going to be making some hiking poles for the kiddos. Let's take a look. All right, so right up top, uh, before we get into it, I want to make sure I let everyone know if you are watching this and the channel is still under a thousand subs, uh, I am still going to be doing a giveaway. When we hit a thousand subscriptions to Conan's EDC, I will be raffling off this Desert Warrior i3T O light. Just an awesome, awesome light. Uh, with that, I'm also going to be whoop, building a custom Altoids kit, whether it's Zombie Apocalypse, Workplace Survival, whatever the winner wants, I will build that. And I have an idea for a couple other things as well. So make sure I'm going to drop the link here for the video where you go comment, like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I 100% appreciate it and really just appreciate all the interaction. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So with trekking poles for a long time, I've actually talked now that the weather's getting better about trekking poles. I got these guys off Temu that I really like, these collapsing ones. I uh, used telescoping ones for a long time, not kaleidoscoping ones, as some people have pointed out, I tend to say. Uh, and they've really just helped save my back and save my knees on a hike. That being said, even before I started using hiking or trekking poles or trekking sticks, I made something for my kids. And it's because they saw other people walking with hiking sticks. And I realized, you know, that would be something I'd like to make for them. And there are a lot of different options out there, but... You know, I wanted to make something that was cheap, that was tough, and that was okay if it broke. Because honestly, even though these things, this was 10 bucks, and you can spend a huge amount of money on trekking poles, I wanted something that the kids could use as lightsabers, essentially. Anytime you put something in a kid's hands, it becomes a sword. And I knew that they were going to be using them to do a lot of other stuff than just hike. Now, the point of trekking poles, like I said, or hiking sticks, is to help save your knees, help save your back, and it's because it gives you another point of contact. Now, before I get into the build itself, I have this little diagram here. Ideally, when you have a trekking pole itself, or a trekking stick, your arm resting at your side comes down to a 90 degree angle and straight out, and that's where ideally the grip is going to be. That's why something like this or the telescoping ones where you can adjust to the right height is really nice. Now, that being said, there's also just the classic walking stick. I mean, some of these things are like Gandalf's staff. They're just even above your head. So I wasn't really looking for, you know, something super crazy. I wasn't looking for the, uh, how do I want to say, perfectly molded thing because I wanted something that they could use and continue to use as they grew. So the first thing I did, honestly, was go to my garage. I build a lot of stuff out of PVC. This is Schedule 40 PVC. This stuff is super strong. I use it for, well, a lot of stuff. And maybe I'll make videos in the future of some more of the stuff that I've built using this. But I already had lengths of this in the garage now. What I will say is about 10 feet of this is maybe 6 to $8. Uh, and... It only took me one length, and I cut it in half. Now, I did not cut them down for the kiddos down to just their normal height. I gave it some extra, so that way they had things to, well, swing around like swords and poke stuff and whack stuff and just use however they wanted to, because I wanted something that they liked and had fun with that wasn't just a tool, but something that they really felt like was their implement, their thing to have. So what I have done here, I have a length of this PVC pipe and I am going to build a miniature uh, trekking pole. Obviously, if you're going to do it for your kiddos, then you're going to make it much longer. Now, I keep saying kids, you could technically use this as uh, for a hiking stick for an adult, but the longer this stuff gets, while it is very strong, it can take a bend when it gets real long and you're putting a lot of weight on it. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend something like this for an adult. But for a kiddo, like I said, a few feet, three, four feet, this thing is great. 
So as far as supplies go, like I said, just a length of Schedule 40 PVC pipe. This is half inch, which has turned out to be perfect. Even when they were a couple years younger and even to now, still the right size for them. As far as the bottom, you can leave this open. I mean, this stuff is tough. It's going to scuff. It's going to wear. It's even going to smooth out. I wanted something so that way it could help resist impact and it wasn't so just hard when they bounced it around or were walking with it. So this is actually a chair rubber bottom, a foot thing for a chair that honestly has worked out great. These things are tough. In the couple of years that my kids have had theirs, I've only ever had to replace maybe one or two of them and it slides on and creates a nice seal. As far as the top, there are a lot of different options. I just went with the regular hard cap. And the reason for that is say I wanted to, well, I wanted them to have something nice and tough up here. You can put another rubber piece up here if you want something softer. But I really put this up here so that way they had something really firm to grip as well. As far as the grip on it, I've not uh, epoxied. You can get PVC glue or an epoxy. I haven't worried about that, and they've never come off unintentionally. Now, as far as the length itself or what you do with the pipe, something like this is pretty easy if you drill a hole through it. There we go. To actually put a lanyard, or in this case, this is some 550, this is some survival paracord. It's got some wick in it and some fishing line and, you know, all sorts of utility to it. But now I have a way, the kids have a way to hang this on something. They have a way to hang on to it a different way or secure it. And that way to, uh, that's the big thing is it gives you another way to secure this. Whether you're just walking around and need to stop or to a pack, it's nice to have a contact point. Now, if you don't drill a hole or say you drill the hole and you cover it up, this pole does become airtight and watertight, which isn't a bad thing because if you wanted to as well, under this cap, say you put this cap on and you've run a fishing line down attached to either some sort of container or bag and then cap this off, well, you can keep a cache of something in here, whether it's fishing gear, fire starting gear, survival gear, whatever you want to do, or just something basic in an emergency for the kiddos. Now, obviously, the more you add to this, the heavier it is. And what I really liked about this is it is super light, even as long as theirs are if it were the same size and length and they were made of wood, would be a lot heavier. As it is, my kiddos can carry these things on... We did uh, the most recent hike was seven miles, and they didn't care they were carrying the sticks. Yeah, their feet hurt a little bit, but the sticks were not an actual concern. So I like having the hole drilled because, again, if you want to, you can seal that off with... I'm going to show you this here. Because when it's sealed off, it does also float. One thing to be aware of... If you're doing a cold day hike, this is not very well insulated. It is an empty tube. So if it's cold out, the PVC, the it, the trekking pole itself, can also be kind of cold to the touch. You can wrap different things around the handle that may help fight that, whether it's a leather wrap or some sort of, I've seen a tennis grip might be a good idea on something like this. As far as what I've done and what's stayed on and has worked for the past several years is just electrical tape and a roll of electrical tape will cost you a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, even this here, you can get, I, like I said, this is survival stuff, but you can get cordage at the Dollar Tree as well. I want to say you can even find these chair feet at the Dollar Tree in some form too. The big thing, like I said, is I wanted to start cheap because I didn't know if the kids were actually going to use them or if they would even enjoy using them. And as it is, I spent maybe a total of 10 bucks to make two of them, and they're still using the same ones I made originally. As far as the grip itself, the reason I went with electrical tape is because it is super grippy. With electrical tape, as it takes heat, it actually becomes a little, I don't want to say sticky to the touch, but it develops more grip. So as, say, their hands warm up or the trekking pole takes more heat from the sun, it means that their hands aren't going to slide around on it, which is really nice. Now, as far as how far up 
you do the grip, that really depends, like I said, where the kiddos are at. I recommend making sure that they still are able to grip it at this elbow crook down 90 degrees. But you can also wrap it all the way up because if they're anything like my kids, they also use these t as uh, giant pole vaults. And as, like I said, swords, they use them to flip over rocks and all sorts of stuff. Now with the electrical tape too, it also does provide a cushion while it's not as soft as something say like hold on i've got it something like duct tape um electrical tape doesn't kind of i guess smush around because if you wrap duct tape around something like this or this is gorilla tape eventually you'll get movement with this whereas i have found the electrical tape it's great at sticking to itself it's great at sticking to the pipe and you can really take a lot of wraps around a pole enough honestly to provide texture and provide a good solid grip and some actual cushion on this too. And what's nice, once you're done... Now, you can also, if you're wanting to make sure to keep everything on here really nice and secure, make sure that that tape's not going to come up, you can put a little bit of heat to this. Not enough to set it on fire, but it makes it a little stickier, the adhesive a little stickier, and helps it just kind of adhere a little more to itself and a little more to the trekking pole itself. There you go. Now, as far as the PVC, you can, a lot of times, they'll cut it for you there at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, you can saw this in half with literally a Swiss Army knife as well. I've done it plenty of times. But that's honestly it. Like I said, it's super easy. These things are super tough. My kiddos, uh, the tensile strength on PVC, there's a lot of science to it. But uh, what I will say is I'm able, if my 50-pound daughter holds on like this, I can pick it up in the middle and pick her up like a bag of groceries. Uh, it's infinitely strong if you're reaching it out and someone is pulling on the other end. So say you know, you're know you trying to pull them up an incline, obviously just awesome and not something you would do with a regular trekking pole honestly not something you could do with a regular trekking pole or something like this i have no problem when you know they put it up to me so i can help pull them up something or they're up somewhere and they just throw it down on the ground i don't have to worry about it breaking because one it's more than likely not going to break and two if it does well i can make another one for at this point five bucks maybe I'll find a link to this. I'm pretty sure I, this actually came in a pack of a few of them. So that way you have some backups. I usually carry at least one backup in my pack itself when we are hiking. Now, something else, too, to go along with this. Uh, this guy here, well, this cap was 50 to 75 cents, maybe. This was 75 cents to a dollar. Because I hike with two kiddos, obviously, I have two trekking poles. So I make sure I have one of these, and both of my kids actually have one of these in their packs, because if you pull the tops off, you can connect them together, and because each of the kiddos have, there's our three to four feet, suddenly we have six to eight feet length of some sort of structural assistance. So say we need to build a shelter or heaven forbid the kids need to build a shelter and there's an emergency, they actually have a way to create a structure and hang jackets or ponchos or emergency blankets. They both carry emergency blanket and a poncho whenever we go hiking. So they have a way to actually at least set up something. And making it a team means that they also have a spot to put another branch or a pole or a stick into, and they can almost immediately create a lean-to or at least some sort of structure if need be. Or as a family, we can do that. So the length, or rather the weight on that is pretty much nothing. And it doesn't hurt to have one of those, especially if you're considering the fact that this can be a piece of survival gear. Like I said, you can stash some stuff inside of this. Maybe even all you do is stash a whistle and a glow stick for the kiddo to have in case of an emergency. It's not a bad idea if you're going to consider survival or consider a, an emergency situation, some sort of way to make structure that would be super easy to carry and perform. So, yeah, that is 
the PVC kiddo trekking pole. Um, this one was a lot of fun. Honestly, of all the things I've ever made for my kids or around the house, this is my favorite thing. Um, I probably, now that I think about it, you've probably been seeing at least a couple pictures that I've been dropping in because I just had the idea of my kids with their trekking poles and just uh, how much they actually do use them because whenever we go for a hike, we don't leave the house without the kids asking if their trekking sticks are in the car. So hopefully someone goes out and tries this. Let me know what you think. Maybe you make your own. You can personalize it. You can customize it. Like I said, this is super basic. And uh, it just, it has worked so well and is so functional for the kiddos that uh, I recommend it to anyone. And whenever I'm out and we're hiking and I see other families with small kids, we get stopped a lot and they ask them about it. And it's literally just a two minute discussion and it's easy to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to make sure the thumbnail is all of these broken down. So it's super easy to see, even if I just title this how to build a kid's trekking pole, that it's obvious just a foot, a pipe, some tape, and a cap, and you've got a trekking pole. So yeah, thank you very much for spending your time with me. Uh, I hope someone goes out and does this super fun project. And as always, stay safe, be prepared, and have a great day.